Let's go back to matters regarding the SABC now. The Right to Know campaign and SOS coalition protested outside Luduli House in Johannesburg today. They handed over a memorandum to ANC leaders calling for the removal of the broadcaster's COO, Laudi Mutsweneng. Support Public Broadcasting Coordinator Sikwitlani Pamori joins us now via Skype. Good evening to you, Pamori. You've been part of several protests outside the SABC. You've now moved to Lutuli House. Aren't these demonstrations occurring so often as to be ignored by those you hope to appeal to? Not at all, Francis. Um, I think that um, we have lived up to our commitment to continue mass rolling action outside key points like the SABC as well as Lutuli House, escalating um, the urgency with which uh, the matter of the SABC's comp compromise and dependence is concerned. So um, we are in the firm belief that we are actually um, getting somewhere. Today we were able to meet with um, the ANC leadership uh, in a meeting with the General Secretary Gweta Mandashe, as well as with um, the Chief Whip, Jackson Tembu, as well as um, Ms. Lindiwe uh, Zulu. Um, and they, um, they, they, they agreed with us that the events happening at the SABC are very much concerning and need to be resolved as a matter of urgency, particularly in light of the impending local government elections. The difficulty, however, is that they were, un they were unable or unwilling to um, comment on um, the action that they were going to take beyond simply saying they would con they would consult with the democratic structures that are already established. I, uh, I must ask you this, Sikwetlani, because uh, you, you certainly have told us who you address this, this appeal to, but uh, reports we've had uh, to speak of two factions within the ANC, one that supports Laudi Mutsuneng and one that doesn't. Was it clear to you, if this is true, which faction you were speaking to? Well, we were certainly speaking to um, members of the ANC leadership who were, um, who at least on record, uh, stated themselves to be in support of the SABC's independence and wanting to see a speedy resolution to the problems that um, the SABC is facing at the moment, particularly the pernicious self-censorship um, culture that has been allowed to permeate the um, the SABC. Um, we, we also do understand that there are two factions, uh, one in support of and one against the in independence of the SABC and uh, as well as in support of or against um, Saudi Twinning and Faith Mutambi's reign of terror over the SABC. Uh, but nevertheless, we can't name who you know the other faction are. Uh, what we can simply say is that we are engaging with the ruling with a governing party uh, and we are calling on them to actually engage this matter using the democratic structures and their influence within them um, to be able to um, advance the, the campaign to render the SABC independent of political and commercial interference, as well as its treatment um, as a Lumpen dictatorship under Saudi Mutsuneng. You, you've been turned away from talks with Saudi Mutsuneng. Uh, you seem to have received a relatively unsatisfactory response from the ANC today without any kind of concrete outcome. What will be your next step while everyone else is, is taking this up a notch and taking legal action? Well, um, our next step is um, responding to the recent um, court bid put in by the SABC 8, the suspended workers who were suspended on these trumped up charges on the basis of unlawful editorial policies. Um, there has been a bid for a, a, a direct application or direct access to the constitutional court by the SABC 8. We have been um, listed as respondents in the matter and we are going to be um, taking this matter up um, in support of the SABC 8 in the Constitutional Court. So uh, we are escalating um, the matter uh, beyond simply seeking a political s solution from the governing party. And we are going to be engaging um, with the Constitutional Court as the highest court of the land to be able to resolve this matter and bring finality to the continued crisis that has been a decade long at the SABC. Thank you so much for talking to us this evening. SOS Coalition's Igwetlani Pamori. More of the day's top stories when afternoon news continues.